evidence of a 14,000 year old settlement found in Western Canada. So this is basically before the comet impact of the Younger Dryas period, which was about 12,800 years ago. Isn't this fascinating? Archaeologists and students from Hakai Institute at the University of Victoria, British Columbia, as well as local First Nations, have discovered the ruins of a town that predates the Egyptian pyramids of Giza. The location on Triquet Island, some 300 miles from Victoria in western British Columbia, has generated artifacts that have been carbon dated to 14,000 years ago, nearly 9,000 years older than the pyramids, according to Alicia Govern, student of the University of Victoria. The settlement, now thought to be the earliest ever discovered in North America, features tools, fish hooks, spears, and cooking fire with chunks of charcoal that these ancient people likely burnt. The charcoal bits were significant because they were simple to, to a carbon date, of course. What brought them to this specific location? The university students had heard an ancient narrative about the Heltsuk people who were indigenous to the area. The story goes that there was a little patch of land that never froze, even throughout the previous Ice Age. This piqued the, the students' interest, and they set out to discover the location. A spokesman from the indigenous Heltsuk First Nation, William Hutsi, says it is just amazing that the stories that were passed down from generation to generation turned out to lead to a scientific discovery. This find is very important because it reaffirms a lot of the history that our people have been talking about for thousands of years, he says. The stories describe Triquet Island as a sanctuary of constancy due to the fact that the sea level in the area remained stable for 15,000 years. The tribe has been in many clashes regarding land rights and Husti feels that they will be in a strong position in future situations with not only oral studies, stories, but also their legends, but also scientific and geological evidence to back them up. The discovery may also lead researchers to change their beliefs about the migration routes of the early people in North America. It's generally believed that when humans crossed the ancient bridge of land that once connected Asia and Alaska, they migrated south on foot. But the new findings indicate that people used boats to traverse the coastal area, and the dry land migrations can, came much later, according to Gavreau. What this is doing is changing our idea of the way in which North America was first peopled, he said. Earlier, the oldest indications of the Heltsuk people in British Columbia were discovered in 7,190 BC, around 9,000 years ago, a full 5,000 years after the artifacts were discovered on Triquet Island, there were around 50 Heltsu communities on the islands around Bella Bella in the 18th century. They, they subsisted on the sea's ridges and developed trade with neighboring islands. When the Hudson Bay Company and Fort McGollin were founded by the Europeans, the Heltsu people refused to be forced out and continued to trade with them. The tribe now holds the territory claimed by the Hudson Bay Company when its settlers arrived. And this is on MRU. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.